Welcome back, guys. So we are getting into this game. It is going to be uh, Doctor Stingers versus Doctor Yogi, and so I do think that uh, Stingers is the Sheik here, and Doctor Yogi is the Mario. Now we know Stingers is a name, but don't count this guy out. I watched him in Friendlies 2-0. Uh, Stingers uh, Sheik already once today. I got bodied pretty hard by him earlier by his Mario. I do not expect this to be a one-sided match, which you would expect from somebody of Stingers quality. He's and, a very good player. And by the way, this is Zinfu, and that is... Rosalina. I'm new to the scene, but trying to help out with Smash commentary and just support North Carolina as much as I can. And doing a good job here, looking all fancy when you see, what you'll see once we swap over to the transition screen. But right now getting into this game, Mario versus Sheik. Um, and we had to wait a little bit to get into round two. Grand finals of doubles was amazing. And we had to finish that up and make sure that you know that you guys saw the best of that. We're now in round two of singles, which is going to be Stinger who got a buy in the first round. But we now be facing Dr. Yogi, as we mentioned earlier. And a lot of the players are just now getting started into their real form. You're not going to see, honestly, a lot of players play to the same level they will once the competition starts heating up. And this is where it starts, folks. This is where it all begins. And so we are. Just watching a very close game here. I mean, this is just being played straight in the neutral. A beautiful up smash there. Gets him off stage. Uh, punishes that landing lag. Very good job there by Dr. Yogi. That exists for Sheik? Landing lag? What's landing that? lag exists for every character. If you land, I do believe there's five frames of lag for every character, except for one. I may be wrong. It may be a little bit more. Uh, I know one character, I can't remember right now, has significantly less than everyone else. Um, really? Yes, you can ask uh, Cow Hunter about that. He would be able to tell you. Yeah, he is the frame. He is the frame data guy. He is our Mewtwo king, <laughs> just not as good or as autistic. <laughs> now we're seeing Mario here at very high percents. Mario with rage is not something to take lightly. You know, this this the Sheik play. Sheik has a tough time trouble killing when you're not able to combo, which is what Stingers is used to. Singer's used to that combo game where he's able to play a long game out where he'll get one or two mat one or two moves off and it'll be a fair combo or it'll be a needle combo, whatever he needs to do to try and get an advantage. And you see right there with that forward smash, this is what we're talking about. He's waiting for somebody to make a mistake so he can take that stock. And just doing a very good job there, uh, sealing that stock off without taking too much punishment here. So we will see what happens in this match. Uh, I do know this is very much in the favor of Sheik because just needles do uh, very well in this matchup. See, there is some argument though that Mario is one of the few player, the few characters that can work as a semi counter pick. Uh, Pikachu being another one, it's not too many that we see right now in the meta that can keep up with Sheik. The amount of different options that she has, whether it's camming, whether it's playing aggro, she's really, really strong. As you can see by the fact that now at 114%, Stingers almost has his evened out after losing the first stock at a pretty low percent and wasn't able to kill Luigi, uh, Mario until much later. So it's really interesting to see just how much he's able to do with the needles, with the bouncing fish, with the fair, the back air there. It's all part of the plan. And as there you go. 0% taken. And so uh, just to clarify with that, Stingers also got stage spiked at about 47% there. It was very low. Uh, I may have been a little bit higher than that, but it was a very low percentage uh, where he got uh, knocked under the stage and uh, failed to recover with the uh, advantage. Oh, oh, trying to get that cape there. I got disrespected earlier, not going to lie. I was, went for an up B with Rosalina and got caped right into the abyss. It's not a great feeling. It's something that might impact somebody's mentality. It's a morale loss. You don't expect to get beaten by something that doesn't actually hurt you. But the cape will do just that. Yeah, it, it does annoy people, and it's a very strong tool that Mario has. It's just that utility there. And so um, it's really interesting what they've done with Mario in this game because he did take away some of the options and change him over into aerials. You know, you look at his down B with the flood, or the side B with the cape. Mario's not the character you expect him to be. He's very he's, he's easy to pick up, he's easy to learn, he's one of the easiest characters to pick up, but to master him is an entirely different matter, which we see Dr. Yogi showing a great example of that. And that is, uh, that's the truth with a lot of characters in this game. Sheik's the same way. Sheik just requires, uh, at a basic level, just the fundamentals. Uh, you need to know how to space your, your moves properly. You, know, you need to know uh, how to just uh, perfect pivot a little bit. But to master her, it does take a lot. You have to learn her unique spacing. You have to learn uh, how to use a lot of her technical The length of bouncing, bouncing fish. 
and how to how to change it up to work to your advantage and gets the Ooh, kill. That, that was a game. very close game there. Stinger's taking that first one. Uh, does pull that back, and I, I thought he was going to lose after he lost that first stock and then got killed again really early under the stage with a failed recovery there. Top level play from a top level player. But just to um, just to verify here, the reason I do think Sheik has a winning matchup here is because a big tool in Mario's toolbox is that um, is that uh, fireball. Correct. Yeah. And it's in needles Mario cancels. And Luigi. Not only does it not go as far as the needles, needles go through it. True. I mean, the transcendent so, properties are a big part of what makes Sheik a very, very strong character in this game. We see her lose ability in kill power, in the power of her back throw. You know, a lot of the stuff that she was using earlier in the meta to finish characters off at a really early percent got taken away. So now she's required to get somebody up above 100%, up above 120%. You got to work for your kills. Whoa, we see a Meta Knight switch. Stingers switching over. I'm not sure why. He won pretty easily after, after like, recovering from those stocks. Yeah, Going back to the Brawl days. <laughs> seeing some Meta Knight, I'm excited to see this though. This isn't uh, something you see on stream much. I know he is uh, I know he is practicing his Meta Knight. And let's get back into this game here. And so, um, you see, I watched this during Friendly too, and this went really well for Stingers. He switched over to Meta Knight and trying him out. I know a lot of people have been trying out Meta Knight tech. I mean, he's considered a, a, a quote unquote low tier character. He's, he's, not he's not got a, a lot of power behind he's him. He's not a low tier character. Um, saying he's a low tier character in this game would be like saying, uh, I'm trying to think of. Uh, a character that's not played as much uh, is Lowe's here. The big, the big uh, reason that he is considered not as good is because no one plays him. He, no one masters him. He doesn't have it. Um, if Pikachu didn't have ESAM, people would look at him and wouldn't say he's a, a top three character. But he does get results with one uh, player. Meta Knight doesn't have that, but definitely has the potential to. Meta Knight has that sword and uh, that up air is still very good. Uh, down air has lost a little bit of its luster, but... Um, well, their down air is still really good. Up air has lost a little bit of its luster, um, but down air is a very good tool. The sword has those uh, the destroyed hitboxes. It has the ability to uh, just cancel out moves there. See, thankfully though, this isn't brawl um, because I don't think anyone wants to see the the. Un unbelievable god tier that Meta Knight was then. No one wants to see any character that level. We don't want to see just one constant stream of just one character. Uh, that's the beautiful thing about Smash 4 so far is the fact that the character diversity has been very, very wide. You look at the top tournaments, Evo, uh, Smash Con that just happened, Apex. We had so many different character variations that has really helped expand the meta for a lot of different characters and not just one character at a time. Yeah, it, it has been. It, the variety of this game has been huge. Uh, good job there by Mario taking that stock. Um, just able to even this out a little bit more. Exactly evened it out. 11-11. Uh, I do not think... Make a wish. I'm not sure of the exact weights here, but I can't uh, imagine that there's much difference between these two characters. They do seem uh, to fly very similarly. Um, so, oh, beautiful up air combos. It is a, still a good combo tool. See, um, it's so weird for me to look at thinking of Luigi and seeing Mario's down air being Luigi's down B, because I just imagine back in like, you know, older games, you don't remember the flood, you don't remember that being an option. So for me, when I played him, it was very difficult for me not to try and punish immediately after down air, because you expect him to go into free fall like Luigi does, but he's still active after that, he's ready to go. And, oh, nice shuttle loop there. Oh, oh, Double shuttle loop beautiful the kill, kill off, the off the top. Thank you, Dreamland Platforms. And I think one big reason that, um, Stingers is doing a really good job here with Meta Knight is because of the fact that uh, no one has this matchup experience. Beautiful uh, forward, air, or forward smash there. We're staying even. Stingers, zero, zero, last stop. Stingers dropped that shield too early there. Dr. Yogi playing for his winner's tournament life. Trying to upset the three, fourth rank player? Fourth. Fourth. Fourth rank player in the state right now. Shuttle loop, fall. Oh, went for the double shuttle loop combo again. Up air, up air. Oh, Mr. Shuttle was completely that time. It's very hard to hit. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of akin to uh, Zero Shit Samus. It does depend a lot on DI and where you place it. Um, now, he's facing about a 60% stock difference, or percent difference right now. Not unsurmountable, but it is something that he needs to start working on right away, or else, oh, it's oh, gonna be over. Smash. The commentator was... curse. I couldn't even finish my sentence. Very, very strong performance there by Stingers, taking that game uh, fairly solidly. Um, that's not to 